The Cliff, nigga. You been around. Cliff. Cliff. Hey, what's up, Patrice? What's up? Why you so mad, nigga? You been holding a while, huh? Hey, man. Go ahead. Hey, uh, listen. I got a question for you. I got a... I'm 27 years old. I'm uh, I'm dating a 45 year old, and I got a lot of my wow. friends giving me shit for it. What do you What do you think about the uh, younger guys <laughs> with the older women deal, man? I don't know. Is it Is it a fetish? You're not looking to marry or no shit like that, are you? No, 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 no. Yeah, no, you just no, it's no just a fuck. Yeah, that's good, man. Because when you unload on a motherfucker that's 27, when you get some 27 year old pussy. You're going to be able to tear that shit up when you go back to your own age. So she's going to teach you exactly. a few things. That's, that's, what I'm yeah. that's Mrs. Robinson right there. What's it smell <laughs> no, like? Mrs. What's 45 year old pussy Mrs. smell like? Uh, it smells like a little bit. Uh, it smells like the fish that's been in the market for about two or three days. So it smells like, <laughs> oh, smell like she needs really? some, she need a little no. extra ice. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the difference between a sushi bar in San Francisco and one downtown, <laughs> downtown Jersey City. <laughs> Exactly. Well, you exactly. know what? Keep, yeah, keep so looking at this old broad, man. You're concerned with peer pressure. Fuck it. You know. Yeah, and that's coming yeah, from a 47 year old woman right I'm there. 58. I'm 58. <laughs> yeah, all right, man. Take care, Cliff. Keep fucking her. Tear up. Right. And pluck out some of that great pussy hair she got. I know it's <laughs> awful down there. Um, go to Mr. Um. Oh, go to Anthony in Vegas, man. Anthony. Anthony. Yo. Hi. Mike Philly. Anthony and Ve- is says That's me. Okay, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, man. Black Philly. How you doing? Oh, Black Philly. Yeah. That's you. No, Black Philly. Oh, That's Black you. Philly. Yeah. Oh, Philly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, thank you. That's a new nickname. Oh, thank you very much, Black <laughs> Philly. Kathleen. <laughs> 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 I love to hear Kathleen swear. It's really sexy. Oh, thank you. They swear for the um, Thank you. Motherfucker. Um, <laughs> I want to ask you. There go another rape. <laughs> Maybe he won't kill you. Is she a cougar? Huh? Is she a cougar? She, uh... I, I... Yeah, you can say that. <sighs> you, you, Kathleen is... I'm very stockable. It's a lot of ish. You know what? There's a lot of ish in her. Like, she's hot-ish. hot-ish. She's smart-ish. Well, what if she, she comes? It's it's probably oh. weird. She probably... Oh, sexy-ish. You know, it probably sounds like a fly dying. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a Cessna, a Cessna crashing. <laughs> <laughs> so what's what's up? Man? What's going on? Um, I want to know. If, I'm sure you're aware of the old unwritten law that you never fuck a girl, you never make a girlfriend. Out of a girl you fuck on the first date, I wanted to know your uh, opinion on that. That's young guy shit. Yeah, exactly. That's Again, young. How, oh, you God. should. How you old are you? You should. How old I'm, are you? I'm 35. I'm 35. You, oh, you're, yeah, you're, you're, you're supposed five. to encourage, yeah. encourage the Why whoreness in young? every bitch. Yeah, seriously, dude. Encourage the whoreness. It's a, it's a young man's thing. When you're in high school, like this thing, like remember when you was high school, and, and like when I was high school, somebody said to me, um, yo, uh, 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 yo, was she good in bed? I, my answer would be, uh, she gave me pussy. Well, I don't understand what that means. <laughs> when you get 35, you know what that means. Like, a, a, a good fuck is, is a tangible uh, uh, reference. But, like, now, it's like when a girl gives me pussy now, I'm mature enough to deal with getting pussy early. I wasn't mature enough to be getting pussy when I was 18 on the first date. But now, if a bitch gives me pussy now, I like her more. Yeah. Th- that's the, a lot of people don't understand <laughs> the reason a lot of times men don't like women is because what you put us through for pussy. Like, the fact is that you could fuck me now, but you're not just because of, like you said, the unwritten rule of not fucking on the first date. And all you got to do is say, why? I'm going to tell you something. That's the best question to ask a bitch. It's like, if you go, listen, let's sleep together. I don't even know you. First of all, if a chick says she don't know me before we fuck, you don't know me any better if we talk for a year. My dick didn't change, bitch. What you think? You know my dick better? <laughs> fuck me now. Get Introduce yourself to my dick, too. Hi, pussy. How are you? <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Patrice. Let me shake your fucking... Labia. Uterus. <laughs> yeah, nigga, fuck that, man. That shit is fucking on the first date, dude. Look, like I said, my girl's a hoe, and I say that with love, man. I love my girl. You fucking on the first date? I I would if I could have, but she. Let me tell you how she got dick from me. Here's what a loser she is. Here's how she got some dick from me. I I was I made a conscious decision to be her friend. I said, look, I'm gonna be this bitch's friend. But what's well, she, that's what I'm talking about. What if you wanna like you know be a friend first and then you know. 
Or just I'd what you did. say that's the way to go. Wait a minute. So I'm, you go ahead. What you say? Yeah, I, I think that's the way to go. To be friends? Yeah, and then fuck them. Why? I mean, Kathleen, what if you want to be my friend? What if he? Oh, this nigga's I trying do. to get Kathleen, but this like. sneaky motherfucker, hang up on him. <laughs> See you later, man. I like you. Thank you, cocksucker. <laughs> Uh, Motherfucker. Uh, Phil. Okay, Phil in New Jersey, man. What's up? Yeah, what's up, Patrice? What's how you, how you doing, man? All right, man. All right. Me and my wife separated like a year ago. Mm-hmm. And uh, in the whole process of things, like, you know, she got she got messed up in the whole party scene doing drugs and shit. And mm-hmm. I got, I'm with my kids. Okay. So, after... It's been like a year. After like a year, she she says she wants to. She's better now. She wants to become a family again. And all. Wait, how'd you lose your kids? What what the fuck? You you lost she your kids? Them. She took them. No, I didn't lose them. I got them. He oh, you got the them. kids? Okay. She's oh, I, I, partying, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah, I got the kids. Okay. She. But then, she said, uh, you know, she wanted she wanted to get back together again. She wanted to be a family. She wanted to work things out. Right. So I started talking to her for a couple of weeks, and then next thing you know, she goes, well. Don't think you're exclusive or anything. I'm still seeing like three other people. Oh. Fuck that bitch. Oh. What the fuck? You know what she? Let me tell you. Let me Play tell you game. exactly what the fuck she doing to you, dude. You. Right. It's it's like, uh, again, we boil it down to a, to the to the basic thing. It's like a girl that you love. See, she's abusing your love, nigga. You can't let her abuse your fucking love. She knows that no matter what happens, mm-hmm. she can always come back to good old sweet Phil. I understand right. that you're always going to take her back, that you're always going to go, you know, all right. So what she's doing is you are her stability, nigga. You are her blanket. You are her mattress. You are everything she needs to be comfy so she can be out in her world of horse shit. You ever seen that movie when uh, Meg Ryan was a drunk bitch and, and uh, 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 Garcia. Uh, yeah. Andy Garcia, Andy Garcia right, right. just kept, that's you, nigga. Fuck that bitch. And that's what you got to tell. Fuck her. You done it enough. You did your job, nigga. Take those kids. Find you a good woman, man. And stop letting this bitch abuse you. Because her lifestyle is more important than you. It's more important than the kids. It's more important than her, nigga. She don't even care about herself. Let that bitch die without you, nigga. Stop. She's a weight. She's hanging you down. And make sure you ha- you have uh, legal custody of the kids. Or look into that before anything happens. Bye, Phil. Like, you know. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Bye. Fucking. And make sure. And make sure that they, yeah, that well, you feed them oatmeal. And you crazy <laughs> bitch. I, well, the woman will get the custody, and she. He Brian, doesn't want. He loves his kids. Nigga, he already got she, the kids. He got the kids. And she's got a Did drug you hear what he said? He yes, got the I fucking know, kids. But not if she leaves. She can get them easily. She might just get come the down fuck out of here. She's day. a junkie. But and, and he and yeah, he. Yeah, I know she is. Yeah. Number but the no, courts no, no, favor no, 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 no. the mother. Not definitely. he already got them. She, got she him can't and come back from drugs and then say I'm not on drugs. I want my fucking kid. How do you know? Yeah. How do you know? It happens all the time. To I mean, who? The... Nigga. <laughs> I swear, Kathleen. S- Call number. Seven. Brian. Brian, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, Patrice? How you doing, man? How you doing, dude? Yeah, I'm doing all right. I want to, I, wanna, uh, I know you're going to wrap up the show. I wanted to give you your heavy props, man. Not only are you dead on, but you make it very interesting with the funny shit that you're saying. So I, I appreciate you being on not only Opie and Anthony, but your own show. Uh, but I want to tell all these these guys out there that are pussies, they let their women run their lives, a bunch of punks, to just listen to what you have to say. Because I used to be like them. And about maybe seven, eight years ago, I used to be like them. You know, with the flowers and yes, dear, and all this horse shit. And once I started to throw down the gauntlet, people, bitches be crying, oh, I want you back, and I want to be with you. And po- believe me, man, I have black chicks, Asian chicks, Spanish chicks, <laughs> and I'm not anything, anything special to look at, bro. I'm not anything yeah. special. I'm an average looking guy. That's and what I tell these about. motherfuckers, fuck you, I ain't calling. You pay for your own shit, let some other douchebag. Give him a pimp card. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> Leave your address, you're going to get a pimp card in the mail, motherfucker. Yeah, Brian. Yeah, nigga. Patrice, Patrice, I'm top. Patrice, this is for everybody else. Listen to Patrice. Believe me, if you follow Patrice's shit, you will get where you want to be, motherfuckers. You hear that, Kathleen, nigga? (laughs) Thanks, Brian. Good looking out, man. Thank you, Brian. Our work is done. Let me me try to stroke my ego some more. Go to to (laughs) Payday in Philly. (laughs) Payday. 
Yo. This nigga Ooh. is high. He's high. <laughs> Hang I, up. <laughs> nice high energy caller. That guy's Count your drugs, nigga. Right. <laughs> this nigga's it's counting another. drugs. This nigga's yeah. doing scenes yeah. from Scarface <laughs> on the fucking phone. <laughs> hey, Scott in South Carolina. What's up, man? Scott. Hey, Patrice. What's up, sweetie? What's up, Scott? Hey, uh, by the way, we just got back from uh, seeing little Jimmy in Atlanta. By the way, he fucking killed. Amazing. Yeah. That's good. Did he melt under the hot lights? Because that's what fucking uh, scallops uh, he, do. He was, he was beautiful. I wanted to lick the fucking sweat off his fucking forehead. It was really? Did he, did, he, did he look like the inside of somebody's stomach? He looks like, like, he looks like somebody chick. turned inside out. <laughs> it doesn't fucking matter. Oh, that's I'll good, man. What's up, dude? Yeah, well, you were talking earlier about... Uh, our bitch is making us happy. You know what would make me happy? I, I would absolutely love. I, I've never done it before. I want to have some fucking anal sex. With, and I with, know whoa, whoa, whoa. You want to stick somebody or you want somebody to stick you? No, no, no. no I, I don't want to get in that gay shit. I would like to stick it in my wife. And, and she is such a fucking prude, and I cannot. Here's what, I, here's I a, it's, to bring ve- it up. it's very easy to do that. You do assy <laughs> shit. When you're eating a pussy, you stick the tip of your finger in there. When you're eating, uh, you lick an lick asshole, it. you just do assy stuff. That's it. Rub the thumb. Spit uh, on the thumb. Rub bite the, the thumb. Bite the, um, the, the inside the of the lower ass cheek. cheek. <laughs> the, lower t- <laughs> the lower ass cheek. I'm sorry, do you have un- any ways any a guy anal? can fuck you in the ass, Kathleen? I, no. I, I'm not into it. <laughs> hey, man, 